They say silence is empty, but on Mars, silence is layered, dense, almost watchful, not absence, but presence withheld. The kind of silence that listens. Just zoom in. The dust, rusted, ancient, everywhere. It coats everything with memory. But under the dust something lingers, not life, but something similar. scars of something that tried to live or tried not to be found. Thousands of craters, frozen rivers, whispering canyons. Each one of these has a story. Not all of them want to be told. Wallis Marineris, 4,000 kilometers long, so vast it could hide a hundred secrets and never break a sound. Was it torn apart by ice or by something deeper? A planetary scream, a tectonic fracture, a burial? And what about the methane? It flickers in the air like a ghost. What hides beneath the ice caps of the poles? What steers the darkness under the crust? Too deep for light, but maybe not too deep for memory. Then there is a magnetism. Mars once had a magnetic field, a shield like Earth's, but it vanished. Why?
something stopped spinning or something was stopped. Look at the dried up riverbeds on these images from Perseverance Rover, like veins of a planet that once had pulse. Water flowed, lakes shimmered, oceans lapped against dusty shores. Where did it all go? More importantly, what happened when it left? Some say Mars died naturally, its core cooled, its air escaped, water fled to the poles or sank into the stone. What if Mars was held into silence? No signs of ancient cities, no machines, no towering ruins. What if time and wind and dust are better at hiding than we are at seeing? We've seen strange magnetic anomalies, explained temperature spikes, sudden slides of dust, too sudden. Sometimes it feels like the planet reaches when we come too close. <laughs> 